This. Is the egg. A pinnacle part of any breakfast meal platter, and therefore being a pinnacle part of life itself. There are many options of how you can eat an egg. Some people may say there are too many options. Now, it can be a difficult feat to understand which egg to choose to eat when you start your day of life. So today, Mr. Melvin Hicks is here to answer one of the most difficult and challenging questions of our time. I'm gonna rank eggs. Hey yo, Hicks here. And if you didn't know already, I am an egg connoisseur. Someone who likes to enjoy a nice cracked white or brown egg. You know, the yellow yolk, the crispy surrounding sounds of the, of the circular circumference of the area. All of that. And today I decided to put eggs to the test. I will be doing the first ever egg tier list. I'm right handed. The scrambled egg, supposedly the vanilla ice cream of the egg kingdom. You know, a lot of good breakfasts start with a classic scrambled egg mix. Could be good with pancakes or waffles. I mean, more preferably waffles over pancakes because if I'm being honest and saying, that's, that's just what we're gonna choose out of the two. Like, I mean, pancakes are cool. And if you pick pancakes over waffles, it's, it's okay to be wrong, you know? I mean, yeah, there's nothing wrong with enjoying a soggy cake every now and then, but that's a different discussion for a different day. We're talking about eggs here. Honestly, it's a very bland taste and, and texture, uh, scrambled egg. Oh, oh, rosemary got stuck in my teeth. I think what really helps scrambled eggs is everything else in a meal. Me personally, I like to mix it with an apple chicken sausage. Put a little pieces in there, cut it up. But as of right now, since it's just okay on its own as i said it's the vanilla of the egg kingdom i'm gonna give it a solid a it's very versatile you could use it with different breakfast combinations and it's just overall pretty good i'd say we're off to a good start What am I doing with my life? Mm -mm. The soft boiled egg. Made exactly like the way the British love to make their food for some reason. Boiled. If you have soft boiled eggs anywhere higher than a D, I, I don't know if I could trust you. I'm gonna be honest, I don't. The reason I'm saying this is because there is a way there is a way to get yolky eggs and have them be done right. This, however, is not the way. This is a... This is a D. Close to an F, but it's still an egg, so... I'll let it slide. Let's dig in. Now this... This right here 
is a perfected boiled egg. Not too yolky, not too hard boiled. And we'll get to hard boiled next. Just, just looking at this, this texture, this consistency, this is what's needed. There's no white. As you can see with the soft boiled egg, there was white as albumin. That's literally what it's called, albumin. How do you make it even sound nasty? Like, I don't wanna eat that. Albumin, that's, that's the name we chose for that? It sounds like a whole disease. <laughs> Anyways, this right here, Perfect. Six to seven minutes. That's all you need to boil a hard boiled egg. Maybe seven and a half max, but that's all you need. Look at that. Now that's a gosh damn boiled egg right there. That's a solid B. It might not be everyone's texture, but hey, this is my tier list. And because of all of that, everything I say goes. So <laughs> go suck an egg, buddy. Let's see. It's actually surprisingly not what I thought it was going to be. Oh, that's hot. Ah. But then when I taste it, it's it's what I remember. See, this is what I like to call the Goldilocks situation. Many people know the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. When she tried the porridge, one was too hot, one was too cold, and one in the middle was just right. Here, I don't know, for a long time, boiled eggs were my arch nemesis. I could never get into boiled eggs, and it was because of these guys. It's something about when the yolk just becomes like, chalky. It throws the whole thing off. I haven't had a boiled egg like this in a while. There are only two ways I would have it now like this. Either in a salad or a tuna salad, which is used in like tuna melts or tuna subs and all that. Oh my gosh, this is hot. It's not doing too much, you know? When it's chopped up with other stuff, so it's not like the biggest thing that tastes like chalky boiled eggs, it's not bad. But on its own, and if you're like having a breakfast and a boiled egg is just there, you're actually insane, especially if it's cold. I, I, I cannot eat a cold boiled egg. I would not eat this in a house. I would not eat this with the mouse. I would not eat this here or there. I would not eat it anywhere unless it was in a tuna salad or a, a regular salad. Yeah, it's gonna be a strong D for me. Pause. Yeah, uh, kinder eggs are illegal, so. I don't even need to bite into this before I can tell you that this is the better version, the Chad version, the gourmet version of a soft boiled egg. Ooh, look at that. Mm. The reason why this is so much better is because this has a crisp outside. Maybe it's me, maybe it's a texture thing, but because of the crisp outside, it doesn't all just feel like goop. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel like you're just eating Nickelodeon oobleck, Nickelodeon slime. It feels like it has layers. This is quite honestly the Shrek 2 of eggs. The Shrek 1 is great. You know, it's a classic story. It's a pretty basic story. That's like scrambled eggs. Shrek 2 is the sunny side up egg. And then Shrek 3, the, the very forgettable one, that's, that's a soft boiled egg. Put this on some avocado toast, put this on some rice, put this on some regular sourdough bread, any kind of bread actually. Cooked spinach and grilled onions, put that together with the one egg like this. And it just tastes amazing. Sunny side up eggs, when done right, can be one of the best eggs there are. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's an egg. <sighs> S tier. Look at it. This is S tier. Not only because my sister made it and she comes from a long line of egg cooking gods. Uh, AKA my mom and dad. The wonderful thing about an omelet is that you could put anything in it 
and it tastes delicious. This one is quite simple. Egg, cheese, grilled onions, and spinach. Look at that. I'm not even a big fan of cheese. I'm not even supposed to have cheese. But this is so good. I can't stop myself. I literally wasn't kidding when I said I couldn't stop myself. I probably sat there and ate that for like 15 minutes. That being said, I think that's a solid S. Yep, that's that that's an S. No, no doubt. If anyone says anything else, you're wrong. French omelets. Everybody hates French omelets. My homies hate French omelets. My grandma hates French omelets. Nobody cares about French omelets. American omelets are the way to go. No one cares about French omelets. I hate French omelets. With that being said, I'm going to give it a C. A what? What even, what even is that? How do you even make a Gordon Ramsay egg? Don't worry. Leave it to me. I think I can help you with that, Mr. Hicks. Ah, this life I am. Now, scrambled eggs. First of all, obviously I don't need to show you how to grill a tomato, but the secret behind any great scrambled egg is to make sure you do not overcook it. Now, start off with cold eggs, straight in to the pan. Stop. Hold on. You take your butter, three small knobs of butter. From there, on to the stove. You bring the gas up high and then start cooking the eggs very gently. 30 seconds on. 30 seconds. Back off. That slows down the cooking process, stops the eggs from overcooking. So you need to be very careful. Back on. What? So they're just starting to thicken up now. I'll come back off the heat. <laughs> now we've cooled it down. Back on to the heat again. Oh my gosh, this is, this is not healthy. This is not healthy. This, is not, this isn't healthy. Look at this. This isn't healthy. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh my gosh. You smell this? What number am I on? Okay, on it, off, off it, off it, off it, off it, off it. I think that's good. I think that's good. Got the sour cream. He said, I love creaminess. Take a teaspoon of creme fraiche. Ooh. Goes in. That gives a really nice creamy texture. Oh, shoot. He's gonna get mad at me. <laughs> He's gonna get mad at me. I forgot the cream cheese. Or sour cream. What's the cream cheese or sour cream? <laughs> <laughs> I guess for yours too. Thank you. <laughs> the world profound uh gordon ramsay scrambled eggs uh 
by famous uh, uh, British chef Gordon Ramsay. It's a B. Egg tier list complete. Hey you, yeah. Do you like eggs? Well, I, I mean, if you're watching this whole thing, I really hope so. You wanna know what's just as cool as liking eggs? Just liking in general. I mean, like if there was just like a thumbs up kind of figure in your peripheral anywhere. Nope, not, not your hand, no, no. I mean like just in general, maybe on the screen somewhere. I mean, hitting that would be kind of cool. And, and I mean like, if you haven't seen it already, there's like a little like follow or subscribe button down there. I mean, if you haven't hit it already, just like, you know, maybe consider it. You know, it's just there, it's there. And, Maybe, maybe even hit that bell. That bell could be kind of cool. It, it, it lets you know when I post egg stuff, not egg stuff. <laughs> I mean, if you don't believe me, just ask sexy egg word. <laughs> Damn. You know, I just stumbled upon you with my beautiful egg eyes, and I just can't, I just can't stop looking at you. You're amazing. <laughs> well, uh, thank you very much. You know, I I'm subscribed to the Hicks channel, and I enjoy and like all of his videos with notifications on. Wow. Really doing that does wonders to you. You look absolutely gorgeous just the way you are. You're beautiful. You're handsome. You're you're just fantastic, a fantastic human being. Oh, I mean, well, thank you, I try. So, I mean, if you haven't already, I am, please, please just consider it for, I mean, you watched the whole egg tier list. I mean, like, look at this, bam. Now you can't say that you didn't learn anything from this and that it wasn't all completely useless. Take it or leave it. I mean, you might even see Sexy Eggward again. Oh, oh my egg, they killed Sexy Eggward. They killed him, you bastards. I can't breathe. Are we next? I can't breathe. Someone help. For the love of yo, anyone help! Mommy, is the man with the hammer gonna kill us? Yes, Charlie. Yes, he will. <laughs> I'm calling the FDA. Oh my god. Chill. Oh my god. Chill. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Hey, did any of you guys see anything? Yeah, I, I mean, I must be tripping. I must be tripping. Like, I, no, I, man, I don't know I, what you're talking like, about. Yeah, I didn't like, see anything either. I, mean, yeah, I didn't just, see anything. Just man, I really day, need to get like prescriptions or something for my eyes. Like, my my egg eyes are not working well. I I, just, I must have seen something I shouldn't have seen. I mean, you like, know, subscribing, because, because following, liking anything. really does. You know, it sounds really nice right now. I mean, man, it, it's it's like, a yeah, thing crazy at all. No, everything's fine. Everything's okay. It's like wow, it's a great day. Hey, Melvin, great work as always. You know, great great job, man. Just just love from the eggs. You know, love from eggs you know just us just us eggs and there you have it another question answered by melvin hicks you're welcome america breaking news it's been said that america's 2020 x egg shortage has been caused by an unfamiliar bird flu causing the hens to produce less eggs leading them to losing their jobs and lives this also means no more breakfast eggs for America. But wait, it gets interesting. New reports have been made that the flu was not actually the case. The shortage was actually caused by internet menace Melvin Vinnie Hicks and his addiction to eating and threatening eggs. Here now is the president of the USA voicing his thoughts on the matter. My fellow Americans, I want you all to know if you see this man on the streets right now, you point at him and you say, you did this, you clown. You made the eggs go away. And maybe even go to your nearest supermarket and throw an egg at him to show him what he truly deserves. Uh, sir, but doesn't throwing eggs make the problem worse by wasting food? I mean, so many chickens are losing their lives for the sake of human consumption. That doesn't matter. We always waste food. That's just what we do. Anyways, blame Hicks. There you have it. You can blame him, America, and unemployed chicken families out there.
In other news, happy birthday to the baby birthday boy Marky Poo. We here at the studio hope you have a wonderful day, kiddo. Happy That's it for today. News signing off.